what's up guys talk movies with us here back again for another blu-ray collection video this is our monthly haul for february yep yes we're a few days late but we, we had, had a, things to do and we also had a huge snowstorm and the power was going in and out yeah. so we didn't want to blow up the lights no that wouldn't be a good good situation <laughs> but we're here now we're going to show you guys our pickups we have a lot of stuff as usual we have our random fye pickups we have some disney movie club stuff yep. and we have mill creek stuff we and have some awesome things that you guys sent to us we yes. have a few people a few subscribers sent us some really awesome packages this month and and it's we also amazing. have one to unbox exactly we got one unboxing to do also <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be a pretty jam-packed video so hopefully you have a snack <laughs> Hope we have a snack, sit back, relax, and watch us ramble about movies for the next probably 20, whatever amount minutes. of minutes. <laughs> but um, first and foremost, before we get this thing rolling, we just want to give a quick shout out to our newest Patreon members. As always, thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate all the support. It's awesome. It's just crazy. Insane. It really is <laughs> the kindness and generosity of you guys. Even like we say all the time, just by clicking play on this video is more than enough. But for people that go the extra mile, it is mind blowing. And we just have to thank you guys. So shout outs are for Brent Tapper, Corey Jacobson, and James Richter Jr. Thank you guys so much for being our latest Patreon members. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Like you said, it, or, you know, beating a dead horse. It's awesome if you just click play. It's awesome if you share our videos. Uh, but, you know, our Patreons, you guys are special too. So Yeah, we just got to <laughs> give you guys that extra special shout out. We really do appreciate all the support. So, that is the end of that. Let's get started with our movie stuff, right? Yes. What you guys came here to see. So who wants to start this thing off? All right, so first up, we have three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri, which we are really anticipating watching. I know that tonight it will probably win a, a couple of awards. Yeah. Uh, but we did pick it up in 4K, so we will definitely be watching it soon. Yeah, I mean... Heard what, great things about it, Woody though. Harrelson's awesome, so... Yeah. Next up, we have Murder on the Orient Express, which... <laughs> We did start watching. And we passed out about 45 minutes in. Yeah. Uh, it was late at night. It was probably around 11. Yeah. We were tired. Uh, it's not the best movie to watch while you're tired. No. It is visually very stunning so far. And we will finish it. We will finish it. It kind of just started to get going when we decided to knock out. Yeah. But, um... I mean, it was okay, I guess. I mean, the, it wasn't I, what I was expecting from the trailers, really. I was going to say, but... the beginning kind of threw me off. I thought yeah. they were going to, like, be on the train right away. Yeah. And uh, But no, but we will we'll we'll look, finish it. We're looking forward to the conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, as you guys know, I've been on a Studio Ghibli kick, so I did pick up Prin Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. And one of these days, I will be pretty much binge-watching all of these, and I'm super excited. So, I'm going to start off with a package we were pretty psyched to receive. It was completely out of the blue. We had no idea he was sending this to us. Yeah. But Big Pauly, guys, check him out on YouTube. He does, you know, same kind of stuff. Blu-ray oh. reviews, mm -hmm. out and about, and unboxings. He just unboxed the new Thor Ragnarok. So, definitely look out for that video. But he was kind enough to send us... The Blade Runner 2049 Steelbook, the UK edition. It's 4K. It also is 3D, which is awesome because our 4K Steelbook didn't have the 3D disc included. So now if we do want to watch it in 3D, we yeah. can. We have it all in one. And this is the HMV exclusive. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's got that Mondo artwork on the front. So we're we were, to open it. <laughs> we are, I know. I do not want to touch this thing. It's so beautiful. But <laughs> thanks again, Big Pauly. We really do appreciate it, man. And definitely go sub. Link will be in the description. Yes. And these movies are in no particular order. We're just, we make piles and then we just go with it. And this, <laughs> as you're going to be able to tell, was one of my random FYE pickups. And that is... Corky Romano, starring Chris Kattan. I've never seen this movie. Yeah, I've seen it a bunch. I'm a big fan of really dumb comedies, as you guys probably know already. But yeah, I haven't seen this one in years, so I seen it for like a couple of dollars. Had to pick it up. I knew it would get a good laugh 
from somebody oh, watching yeah. this video. And there's no Blu-ray for it, no so we had to go with the DVD. And fun fact, guys, the director of Lone Survivor, the director of Patriot's Day, and yeah, Peter Berg is actually in this movie. He's right there. Uh. <laughs> so fun fact for you guys, but uh, yeah, that's Corky Romano. And next up is another awesome steelbook sent to us from Brian King. Brian King is a subscriber, and he's also a very active member in our Facebook group. Yep. So, thank you so much, Brian. We really appreciate it. And he sent us Old Boy. Yeah, the original Old Boy. We have seen the remake. We have never seen the original. So, this is definitely something we'll be watching soon. Every time I mention the remake, the Spike Lee remake with Josh Brolin, I love that movie. I think it's such a really good movie. And Josh people, Brolin's a yeah. badass in it. And I immediately get shot down for it. Rightfully so, maybe, but I enjoy that film, but everyone else says, watch the original. The original is effed up times 10, so we can't wait to check this one out. Heard nothing but amazing, amazing things, things about yeah. it. So thanks again, Brian King. And I'll go one more. We picked up Only the Brave. With Josh Brolin. <laughs> Josh Brolin, Miles Teller, and a bunch of other people. But yeah, this movie was oh really gosh. unbelievable. Such a, a touching story. And any film that is like a true story based on like everyday heroes just gets me, man. I know. Uh, we watch this. I honestly, I'll be perfectly honest, didn't know the story. No. I, I don't remember hearing about it on the news or anything. So I had no idea about the ending of this movie. I was sobbing. Yeah. I had tears streaming down my face. It's such an emotional story, but the movie was really well done. It was really well done, and it kind of felt like in the vein of like a Peter Berg film in a sense, because he usually well, does yeah. all these true life events movies nowadays. I'm surprised he didn't get to this one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Josh Brolin, he's been on a kick, man. This guy has done a ton of great movies the past 10 years or so. Yeah. He's become one of my favorite actors he's right awesome. now. He's awesome. I can't wait to see him as Cable. <laughs> oh yeah, that should be fun. But yeah, definitely check this one out. All right, next up is another one that we got sent to us. Justin Peterson, he's a Patreon member. He's very active in our Facebook group. He's on Stardust. He's all over the place. He is, and his Stardust <laughs> reactions are awesome. They're way better than ours. They're way better. I'm like, this guy can have his channel of his own. They're so damn good. So yeah, follow him on Stardust. But uh... He sent us the Criterion of Silence of the Lambs, which we definitely were going to pick up either way, but the fact that he sent this to us was so generous. Yeah. And definitely can't wait to watch this and see all the special features that they oh, added yeah. because the, the first Blu-ray release was terrible. Yeah, just a blank. Boring, just boring. Yeah. So. And the next criterion we are lobbing for, or just a better release of, is The Shining, man. We need a yes. better release of that for sure. Somebody needs to get put out a better release of that. But yeah. Sounds of the Lambs is an absolute classic. Yes. Justin, thank, thank you, you so again. Much. <laughs> Next up is another emotional movie. We did pick up Wonder. We picked up the Target exclusive just because I actually like the slipcover better. It has my favorite color on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this movie was really good. It was really cute. Anytime there's animals involved, I start getting super emotional. And, you know, there's a puppy in this, and it was just so cute. The movie wasn't about the puppy. I know it's not Jeez. about the puppy, she but... Out of this whole movie, she remembers the puppy. No. Okay. No. <laughs> it was... And now I'm going to get nasty comments. No, no, no. <laughs> it was a very good movie, very cute movie. The movie is, is really great. I mean, Jacob Tremblay is phenomenal oh, i mean for yeah. his age he's a fantastic actor yeah i'm trying to get her to watch the room yes. his first uh big movie that was really good too definitely on the list uh, but this one definitely recommend it if you haven't checked it out already this movie did everything it could to pull at the heartstrings man yes. every it, it pulled was, out all the stops it was an emotional <laughs> moment one after another after another oh for sure but very well done and owen I mean, wilson was very good in it you know, wow wow <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> he actually did it. I don't think he said wow. Well, I don't know. I was keeping an ear out for it. I didn't yeah. hear it. Um, obviously, wow. Julia Roberts is great. Yeah. So it was a good movie. So check out Wonder. Next up is another phenomenal movie. We got Daddy's Home 2 <laughs> on 4K. Obviously 4K. Uh, you, this is a must-have in 4K. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but yeah, this was... I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. And it I liked funny. it way better than the first. So if that's saying anything, I think John Lithgow... And, and Mel, Mel Gibson. Gibson were absolutely hilarious in this. Mel I think Gibson is just acting like himself. I'm so. a huge Mel Gibson fan. I think the guy's <laughs> just the guy's phenomenal at everything. And I just I really love this one. It's a really it's a fun watch, cute holiday watch with the kids and stuff. So uh yeah, Daddy's Home too. Definitely a fun one. Next up <laughs> is a film I just watched this morning and God, um 
24 hours to live. Uh, I picked it up because it, it was, was buy one, get one free at Target. Buy two, get one free. Okay, it was buy two, get one free at and Target. And this one was the free one, so at least... It was the free one. It was the free one. I mean, Ethan Hawke, I'm a, I'm a fan of Ethan Hawke. Yeah, and I, I like him. And I love action movies and a title like this, 24 Hours to Live. How could you not, you know, but I just watched it. I'm fresh off of just watching it. And the action scenes were really, really, really well done. The story was a mess. <laughs> this, this story was in complete shambles. I, I mean, I kind of didn't know what the hell it was going for, but... The action scenes were good, so I guess it's not all bad, but, I mean, this one's going on eBay. I was going to say, uh, so, uh, stay tuned uh, for check a out the to eBay, eBay account. Yeah, if you're interested in this one, but, uh, yeah, that's 24 Hours to Live. Next up is another FYE pickup, Silent House with Elizabeth Olsen. Now, I've been looking for this movie on Blu-ray with the slipcover for quite a long time, and... It was funny because they had one without the slip cover, and I was like, oh, I really need to find it with the slip, and like behind a couple of other movies after I was arguing with him. It was there, and he was like, see, I told you you'd find it. I told you she didn't believe me. She never <laughs> believes me. Uh, I actually remember enjoying this movie in the theater. Now, I haven't seen it since, so my view could change, but what I did remember liking about this movie is that it was shot in a way that it seemed like it was shot in one continuous take. So Really? Like it's Birdman. very difficult to see any type of cuts. I mean, maybe now if I watch it, I'd be able to tell, but... I, so I do like that. I do like Elizabeth Olsen. Me too. So. I think Elizabeth Olsen's really good. Yeah, really good. She's fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let me know how you like this one in the comments below, but we'll check it out soon. Next up is Coco, which was released this past week, and we did pick up the 4K, which is why we didn't have an unboxing. We decided not to go with the Steelbook and the 4K. We yeah, gotta settle down on the double dipping. Trying to control ourselves, guys. Yes, but we have not seen this yet. Heard amazing things about it. It's hard to get him to sit down and watch Disney movies with me. So... Yeah, guilty. If he doesn't watch it soon with me, I will watch this while he's at work. And I'm sure I will cry my eyes out. But needless to say, very excited to watch it. Yeah, I heard nothing but good things about that one, too. And another one that was released on the same day as Coco. See, Disney plans this out very slip, like smoothly. Disney is good at stealing everybody's money. So they're really they good are. at that. They're pros at that, actually. But Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next one in their signature collection was Lady and the Tramp. And I don't own this one yet, so I needed to obviously pick it up because I needed the slipcover. This is a classic. Have you ever seen Lady and the Tramp? No, I haven't. <gasps> oh, gosh. I haven't yeah. seen it. I know the iconic scene of the spaghetti and meatballs and stuff, but... Uh, you probably just saw I, it because yeah. of this. No, I... I <laughs> <laughs> seen that in passing in my life but never i don't know i don't watch every single disney movie i just I watch the basics you know i know but this is a classic it's one of their classics and i'm just gonna go on a small rant i hate what they're doing with their slips now with this stupid multi-screen edition banner at the top and then this stupid plays anywhere thing on the bottom it's annoying it's ruining the aesthetic of the slip cover and rant come on disney now it's up. To, now it's your turn. <laughs> All righty. Next up is one of my favorite films that we've seen in 2018. This movie was great. And we did review it, and that is Mom and Dad, starring Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair. Yes. And yeah, this movie was a lot of freaking fun. If you're a big <laughs> fan of Nick Cage going batshit crazy like we all are, I mean, who the hell isn't? Yeah. Look no further than Mom and Dad. He's I basically would... acting like himself. So, so, like, <laughs> so many great lines in this. I can't wait to rewatch it. I yep. bought it on Voodoo, believe it or not. And oh, yep. I had to pick up the physical copy. That's it's how much I love this damn movie. Nice slipcover, too. Nick Cage is a good actor. He's a really good actor. Does he always do the best movies? No. No. But this was entertaining as all hell. And one of my favorite Nick Cage movies of late. So that is mom and dad i have been recommending this movie to everybody because at work everybody knows i have a youtube channel so they're like oh what good movies have you seen recently and like lately i've just been like if you want to see a batshit crazy movie watch mom and dad and they're like as soon as i say nicholas cage though they're like ah! i'm like no please pr i promise you it's I, a lot of fun and then you tell them to watch it with the kids it's it's a good one yeah it's a great family one but uh, all right next up we have the Man of Steel Steelbook. This is the one DC Steelbook we did not own. And, and we have a very out, special shout, shout out. out. 
for the great Michael McMenamin. He is another active member in our Facebook group. And guys, if you aren't a member, get on it. Link will be in the description. We have yeah. a lot of fun in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> So, highly recommend you check out the group. But anyway, Mike remembered that this was the one DC Steelbook we haven't owned yet. And he messaged us and said, guys, I found this in FYE. Should I pick it up? And he picked it up. And, yeah, we have it now. So, uh... And it's in great shape, so I was very happy. It's in great shape. You picked out a good one. And <laughs> thanks again, man. But yeah, overall, I really do enjoy Man of Steel. I think it's a really good DC movie. I think it's probably one of the better DC movies out there. I say this and Wonder Woman are far and away the best DC movies I out need, there. I need to rewatch this one. I haven't seen it in, in quite a number of years. But uh, yeah, this is a good one. And I gotta say, Batman v Superman, I like more and more each time I watch it. So I don't know if that's saying anything. But yeah, Man of Steel, not a bad watch for sure. Zack Snyder did a good job with this one. Yeah, but again, thank you, McMenamin. We appreciate it. You know, it's awesome that people are looking out for each other for movies that they're looking yeah. for. That's what we do in our Facebook group. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout. Check it out if you guys want. Next up is another film that we have heard great things about but haven't been able to check it out yet, and that is The Florida Project. Now, I know that Ian in our group has said... Beautiful things about this movie. It's A24, Willem Dafoe. Uh, Corey also, Corey Reviews, also said amazing things about this. So definitely excited to check it out. And just an FYI, it is $14.99 this week at Best Buy. So if you bought it on release week and it was at $19.99, go get that price adjustment. And if you haven't picked it up, probably is now is a good time. Yep. Next up is another one we got sent to us by one of my friends, uh, Ken. He's not super active in the movie community, but he's big in the Funko Pop community. He's the Funko Pop king. Yo. He is. And <laughs> we went to go see The Greatest Showman with him and his wife, and he was surprised that we hadn't seen Les Mis with Hugh Jackman. So he sent us a copy of it, and... He was awesome enough to send it with the slip. Yes. He found one with the slip. So we are definitely excited to check this one out. I don't know how excited you are, but... <laughs> yeah, musicals aren't really my thing, although I really did enjoy The Greatest Showman, not gonna lie. Next up is everybody's favorite version of the movie Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Psycho. Yeah. But this is the one with Vince Vaughn and, uh, what's her name? Anne Heche. And Julianne Moore is in this movie. It's a pretty good and cast. But, it's, a, uh, it's a good cast and heard it was the worst movie of all time. I mean, I think what kind of made us pick it up is we really, we came off of watching Brawl and Cell Block 99. That is exactly why. Which we absolutely loved. And Vince Vaughn was really good in a dramatic role. And I know he's done some dramatic things in the past. And but so, I was like, let's see him as a psycho. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and I mean right now, uh, Scream Factory, there's a bunch of the titles on sale at Best Buy. So it was 12 bucks, and we were like, yeah, why not? Scream Factory usually can't go wrong. So and we took a shot, right? <laughs> we posted it in our group, and everybody was like, this is so bad. Yeah, yeah. But we have to see it for ourselves. And maybe yeah. it'll be like fun bad. Yeah, I mean, I have a taste. I have a weird taste of movies sometimes, so maybe I'll like it. Who knows? Yeah. But, so uh, let us know how you feel about this one down yeah. below. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, we have the 4K Men in Black trilogy. I was not a fan of the Steelbook, so we decided to go with the box set. Which is way better in way our opinion. Way cooler. And that is because not only are they all individually in there, but they used the original poster art, which I just want to show off really quick. I'm a huge fan. When they do that with the original poster art, I mean, come on, that's awesome. Yeah, and we actually did watch the first one, and it looks really good in 4K. It looked really good. But I feel like all the 4K does for these older movies with special effects, it really... If I mean, you thought yeah. they looked cartoony before, holy hell, they look like... It definitely but, makes you know. it definitely makes the CGI look dated, but... But it doesn't hurt the film, you know? It's still Men in Black, you It's know? still Men in Black, and the fact that the film, except for the CGI, was filmed with film, it doesn't look too grainy, which is good, and the HDR looked really good, so it's definitely a good upgrade if you enjoy the movies and you want them in 4K. And maybe I'm a dummy, because I didn't know this, but at the start of the original Men in Black, it said, based on the Marvel comic. Yeah. So I was like, you know, we had a comic that book means, movie. This was a comic book movie. That means <laughs> that Will Smith yeah. is a Marvel superhero. Move over Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> we got Men in Black, baby. But yeah, that's... Uh, 
That was really cool to see. I was like, I had no I, idea about that. I don't think I knew that either. So guys, comment down surprised. below if you guys knew that or not. Or, or if you've read the comics, I'm yeah. actually probably going to end up looking them up because yeah, I'm always in, sure. intrigued. Definitely. But, all right. I mean, where was Stan Lee's cameo in that one, huh? Yeah, uh -oh. I'm disappointed. <laughs> all right, guys. And next up are a couple of seasons of a TV show that I've been on the hunt for lately. And in my opinion, this and Jackass are the best things MTV has ever did. And that is Viva La Bam. Oh, yeah. Got season one. And season two and three of Viva La Bam and Man. Why I no Blu-rays? I know. Why? Yeah, right. Why no Blu-rays? I know why there's no Blu-rays, but no. I used to watch the show all oh, the time. Man. I Hell love yeah. Don Vito. Oh, yeah. His father's amazing. <laughs> I just, I'm a big fan of the whole Jackass crew in general. I'm like, I, I love them. I hope they make another Jackass. I love Bad Grandpa. I love all that stuff. It's right up my It'll alley. It'll get banned in this country now uh, if they try to release something like that. Stop with the sensitivity, people. Oh, I thought you were calling me sensitive. Nah. I was like, no, I love it. All the PC crap going on. But no, th these shows are a lot of fun. And I'm on the lookout now for Wild Boys. I'm not sure if they put out DVDs of those, but that was kind of like Steve-O's and Chris Potness's Jackass spinoff. So, uh, I actually never watched Wild Boys. I, I used to watch I loved all that crap. But uh, happy to pick these up. Found these at FYE for about 10 bucks. Yeah. So can't not go too wrong. Bad. And uh, RIP Ryan Dunn. That was, that was sad. And Bam Margera is like really fat now. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I, is he, he still around? Skating. He's around. He lives in Pennsylvania. That's My cool. friend actually. Oh, yeah. I think Craigie... Also a member of our Facebook group, actually met him a couple of times, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Some girl that I went to college with actually lived like down the street from him. She used to see him at the bars all the time. So. I used to love how in these shows he just beat the shit out of his father all the time. It's freaking awesome. They used to just destroy the house. Oh and my God. Uh, what was the mom's name? What I don't know. I forget. But she used to get so mad. Oh, man. Yeah. So great. Classic stuff. Next up. We did a thing, and yes. that is we are members of the Disney Movie Club, and... We decided that it was finally time to start collecting the exclusives that we wanted to get. Yeah, we kind of had a list of ones that we needed to pick up. We were kind of backlogged. Oh, yeah. So we just decided to make one big order. Yes. But it was okay because it was buy one at regular price and get the rest for 60% off. So <laughs> we did pick up. Of course, we had to pick up the Mighty Ducks D2 and D3. Awesome hockey movies. Amelia Westevez. Just, he's the man. He is. And these are a lot of fun to watch. We heard that the transfers aren't great, but they've got to be better than DVD. Somewhat. Yeah, they got to be. I mean, the I fact mean, that they're widescreen too, like... Yeah, I mean, if you, you think the transfers aren't good, but then you go back to watch the DVD, and they're definitely 100% better. The DVD of this, I still own it. It is awful. It is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever watched. <laughs> so it's definitely an upgrade either way. And guys, comment down below. Where's Amelia Westavez lately? Yeah. I used to love that guy back in the 90s and stuff. So come on. He's somewhere. <laughs> Where in the world He's is He's trying Amelia to calm Westavis? his brother down a little bit. But yeah. uh, alright. Uh, and then we also did pick up Cool Runnings about the Jamaican bobsled team. In honor of the Winter Olympics of late. Yes. What the heck, right? This movie is so much fun though. It's 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 a fun watch. R.I.P. John Candy. Yeah, I haven't seen this in a really long time. Probably since they were pl would play it on uh, Disney Channel. Now, the ones that you wanted to talk about. Yes, we have the Rick Moranis classics. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. But they didn't release. Yeah, there is one more in this epic trilogy. Yeah. That for some reason didn't get a Disney Movie Club release. I'm wondering if it's maybe another studio. I don't maybe. know why. But yeah, I remember loving these as a kid, and I also remember going to Universal Studios theme parks back in the day. Or was it Universal? Or it might have been Disney World. I forget. But they had the Honey I Shrunk the Kids land, like the play area, where yeah. you know the grass was super high and they had little tunnels and stuff. Made you feel small. I, that I, was a lot of fun. But I, uh, I wish I could say I remember, but I've only been at Disney one time, and I was only five. So I'm gonna break out the violin for a second. Yeah, world's because... smallest violin. <laughs> uh, it's sad. I we'll go. We'll go soon. No worries. I need about you it. to take me to Disney. I'll take you. And these two, I was super psyched for to own. Definitely classics. Snow Dog, starring Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, last time I saw Cuba Gooding Jr. was at a Rangers game last year. But uh, no. <laughs> on the screen, though, it's yeah, not like yeah. we were talking to him. <laughs> but uh, I saw this movie as a birthday party when I was like, I don't know, six, seven years old. Mm -hmm. 
you know, my father took a bunch of my friends to the movies and we ended up seeing Snow Dogs and having a good time. I guess I'm showing my age a little bit. I'm 25 years old, so you do the math. That's disgusting. Stop. <laughs> but yeah, this is a cute one. Always enjoyed this one. Another one I always loved with Paul Walker was Snow Dog. Was was Eight Below. Oh, that was yeah. a really good one. I always get those two confused, even though not the actors, obviously, but the movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the movies. Nah, Eight Below is probably a better film. And after watching these, I really want Huskies, man. I really want Siberian Huskies after watching these. I don't think Potter and Roscoe would like that very much. No. They have Napoleon complexes. They do oh, not yeah. like They got jealousy dogs. issues already. Imagine that. Yeah, if I bring like a big fluffy dog <sighs> in the house that I'm going to like lay on as a pillow, he'll forget it. Yikes. They'd hate me. Next up, last pickup of the Disney movie haul, and that is a classic from my childhood. <laughs> Had the clamshell VHS, and that is Jungle to Jungle with, starring one of my favorites, Tim Allen. Which we did watch. We, we did, did watch, watch it. This. The transfer wasn't the worst on that. No. So that's why I have hope that the Mighty Ducks are not that bad either. Yeah. For what they are, it's not bad. The, in my experiences with these movies is the big wide shots, the wide angle shots when they're showing the whole landscape. Those don't look very good, but when you're they're, when they're like, videoing the people and stuff... They look better, you know? It's not bad. Babe. Some scenes look great, some scenes not so much. That's how I've been describing it to people with these Disney movies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, overall, it's a fun love movie. Jungle to Jungle. And fun fact, the dude from Not Another Teen Movie is in this. He plays Mimi Siku. So, uh... Mimi Siku. Gotta love it, guys. <laughs> and our last part of the haul is a bunch of movies that we got sent to us from Mill Creek. Some of these are out, some of them are not. If you check out our Instagram page... I tried to post all of them individually with their release date, so if you're yeah. not certain, definitely go over there and check them out. And I know Best Buy has a whole section of these Milk Creek titles all cut out now, right? Yeah, only their TV shows, really, though. We okay. don't have any of like, the movies, but yeah, we just put in a big four-foot section of all the like box sets that they put out, which is pretty cool. So you could find all of those there. So we got 100 Years of a Horror, hosted by Christopher Lee. This is supposedly... Uh, it says, 100 Years of Horror is the first show of its kind ever produced, chronicling the history of the movie horror genre. So, so that actually sounds really interesting. For I'd sure. I'd probably pop that in and check it out. So yeah, this should be a fun watch. Wish it was on Blu-ray, though. What we do have on Blu-ray here is two of the Hammer Films double features. I know these are really popular. We have this one with Maniac and Die, Die, My Darling. And this one is Never Take Candy from a Stranger and Scream of Fear. We do have a member in our Facebook group, David Clayton, and he loves all these, I want to say obscure horror <laughs> films, but yep. that, I only say obscure because... I mean, they're not mainstream horror no. films. Uh, so he is probably going to be excited that we got these, and I'm sure he's going to end up picking them up as well. And next up from Mill Creek, we got Legend of American Sniper. This is a documentary series. It shouldn't be confused with Clint Eastwood and Bradley Cooper's version of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, got to check this one out. I like watching a lot of military stuff, so... That is that. We have Robert Altman's Gun, a six film anthology series. Anything James Gandolfini and Mobster, I'm into that. Sopranos is one of my all time favorite shows and it looks like we have a young James Gandolfini in this one. So definitely looking forward to checking this one out. I Again, wish it was on uh, Blu-ray though. Yeah, but I mean, I love this one. Rest in peace to this guy. This guy was an absolute legend and Sopranos is one of the best TV shows of all time. <laughs> and if you guys have seen it, let me know what you think down below. And next up from Mill Creek, we got The Kids in the Hall. This was a sketch comedy series that was on, I believe, HBO back in the day. Mm -hmm. But I remember catching in episodes when I was a lot younger. Haven't seen it in years. But the only guy that I'm really familiar with nowadays is Dave Foley. I know Dave Foley is a really funny guy. He's been in a few sitcoms and stuff. So looking forward to checking this one out again. Next up, we have the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis collection. Very random. Yeah. <laughs> but it does have five feature films and 20 hours of TV performances. These guys are classics. And the movies that they did include in this box set is Don't Raise the Bridge, Lower the River, Hook, Line, and Sinker, Three on a Couch, Who Was That Lady, and How to Save a Marriage and Ruin a Life. Oh, and Ruin Your Life. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll loan this out to my grandfather, let him have a ball with it, because uh, I'm sure this will bring him back to his heyday. But uh... <laughs> Probably fun watch. I mean, these old, like, comedy guys, like, the comedy was 
way different back then oh, like the yeah. language and everything but it is kind of cool to see how different it is next up we have the classic benji the dog which i don't think i've ever seen but if there's a dog involved i will watch you're it. in <laughs> <laughs> and last but definitely not least we have this awesome edition of lords of dogtown and i believe this is the first time it's on blu-ray if i'm not mistaken and this one has heath ledger in it has emile hirsch so Definitely a classic. It's a really cool movie about skateboarding in California. If you have not seen it, definitely check it out. I'm excited to revisit it. And another movie that needs a <laughs> Blu-ray that's about skateboarding in yes. California is Grind. Yes, that movie is a classic. Underrated <laughs> gem. Another one that has Viva La Bam in it. You know, mm -hmm. Bam Margera himself is in it for like five minutes. Yeah. But no one talks about that movie ever. Comment down below if you guys have heard of it or have seen it. We need a release of that. We big definitely time. do. I think it's funny the first time maybe one of us mentioned it and the other was so confused that the that <laughs> we had actually heard of it. I know. I used to have the DVD in the stupid clamshell in that clip that clip case yeah, snap yeah. case. I hated that case, but now of course the DVD is out of print and it's going for like sixty dollars. Well, yeah, well new anyway. But yeah, we definitely yeah. need a Blu-ray. Why don't look out for grind? If you guys have it, let us know. Yeah, the <laughs> guy from Rat Race is in it. And Adam yeah, Brody yeah. Is in it. The last thing that guy I've ever seen that in. I but. know. All right. All right. Now. Next, we have saved the best for last. We have a gigantic box. <clears throat> this was sent to us from one of our subscribers and also Instagram follower. Her name is Brittany. She, I know what's inside of this, but I'm not going to say it now. She said that she had an extra copy, so she was going to send this one to us. And I'm super excited. And so I'm going to let you open it because I don't want to uh, stab anybody or anything. No, that wouldn't be good. But it's just so crazy. You know, I know. Stuff. It's crazy. It's People are so generous. And we we cannot Makes, thank oh you guys God. enough. I almost just died. Oh, you're good. Go ahead. You want to open it up? Let's see what is inside. We have a note. You got a note. Hold on. We can't see. We, we like notes. The notes are better than the... Than the gifts. I know, especially <laughs> when they're handwritten notes. Although Justin Peterson didn't type out his note, yes. and it was very nicely done, and the movie was in that nice sleeve yeah. that he made. Nice gift wrap, but which we <laughs> still have, by the way. Oh, I'm keeping that. Oh yeah, it's going in the shoebox. We have like a memories shoebox. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Ashley, I hope this reaches you in one piece, as I know how awful the USPS can be. At least she didn't say UPS. No. <laughs> Works great. I hope you enjoy this, and it's my way of saying thanks for everything you both do. Keep up the epic work, Brittany. That oh, is so nice. so nice, and we ain't doing anything epic, believe me. We're just a couple of losers who like to talk about movies and like to collect a lot of movie stuff. Yeah, we like to spend money. <laughs> yeah, we like to burn it. But uh, <laughs> All right. Wow, this is packed amazing. I know. Thank you, because I can't imagine how much this costs to ship, but... <gasps> Wow, this thing is packed beautifully. All right, so this is the Waxworks Records edition of the Trick or Treat Holy soundtrack. Holy crap. This thing is, excuse my French, fucking beautiful. Oh Demonetized. My God. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, here is the back, and I do want to open this up and show you guys really quick. This thing is so gorgeous. I mean, we may not be able to find the slip cover for the movie, but I'm pretty sure we got the next freaking best thing. Yes. Holy hell, that's insane. I'm hoping that maybe somebody releases a better version of the Blu-ray anyway, and then I won't have to worry about the slip cover. <laughs> Look at that. This is beautiful. Wow. So, okay. There's a lot going on here. Oh, what is this? Poster, poster. Poster. There it is. That is awesome. I am still looking for the trick or treat pop as well, the Funko Pop, but $100 it's worth right now. Here is the inside. If you can see, and this is also continuing artwork for the front and the back. This is absolutely beautiful. And that's incredible. Thank you so much, Brittany. I know. I, I just, Super nice of you. Wait, wait till you see the record though. Hold on. Is it orange? So the first record. Be very careful. Here's one side. 
and here's the other side how awesome is that that's insane i love it so beautiful that artwork on that is freaking gorgeous this is gonna make me want to watch the movie i haven't watched it probably in like a year or two but and that's amazing here is side c and this thing terrified me <laughs> side d this is one of my favorite vinyls now that we do own for an awesome horror anthology movie so thank you so much Brittany. like i i i don't i'm speechless it's so beautiful and the fact that you were so thoughtful enough to send it to us is it's unreal. insane <laughs> the generosity of you and just everyone is just mind-blowing us yeah uh, i love this movie let me know in the comments below how you feel about trick-or-treat but yeah that's that's it that, that is, is it that is our haul for the month of february this was a pretty big month pretty big haul definitely one of our biggest hauls i would say so uh we were trying to think if this one was bigger than i think our like December haul that had our like Black Friday stuff in it or November it's, or whatever. It's close. It might be honestly. Might be. We got some awesome titles and some awesome yeah. stuff from you guys, which again, thank you, thank you again. <sighs> I know it's unbelievable. And yeah, guys, just another month in the books. We're in the month of March right now. We are. We have four <laughs> Ragnarok this week. Oh yeah, be on the lookout for an unboxing of that yes, one. Yes, definitely gonna do an unboxing of the 4K Steelbook. And yeah, let us know in the comments below what your favorite title that we picked up. What did you pick up this month? Well, last last month, but. And, uh, and do you guys care about the Oscars? Because we're not going to be really watching it. But if you guys care about it and are checking it out, comment down below. Who do you want to win? Yes, let us know. And as always, guys, we will see you in the next video. See you guys later.